Over the years, analog component-based linear DC power supply has been a traditional way for DC-DC power converter, while the analog and digital mixed switch mode power supply has become the mainstream, simply because it's more efficient in power conversion and the size of the components is smaller and it has less bomb cost. However, the switch mode power supply does require more complex digital resources such as PWM generation, control loop with current or voltage feedback, and slope compensation. One way to provide those resources is to have an integrated circuit designed just for the specific power supply application. But since it's a fixed circuit, you cannot tune the circuit to change the power conversion parameters on the fly. Also, you will need to design your circuit to tolerate the worst case scenario for the same reason. Last but not least, you will need to redesign your board or order another integrated circuit for even a small change in your design. That adds cost to both money and time. The solution to solving those problems is to have a microcontroller with integrated peripherals that serves power supply applications. In that way, you can tune your parameters on the fly so that you don't need to design your board for the worst case scenario. And you can use the same circuit for different designs. Microchip presents the Core Independent Peripheral, or CIP Hybrid Power Starter Kit, featuring the hybrid power microcontroller that helps you do rapid bench testing and prototyping for various DC-DC power supply applications, and also upgrade your existing design. In a nutshell, the CIP Hybrid Power Starter Kit performs as a 25 watts synchronous buck converter. It takes 6 to 16 volts of input with up to 4 amps of current, and generates a 3.3 volts output with up to 8 amps of current. For the control modes, the board supports voltage mode, peak current mode, and an optional average current mode with populating some additional components. To sense the current or voltage feedback, the board provides current sense transformer, DC resistance sensing, and an optional high side shunt amplifier with populating some additional components. The board also contains plenty resources for programming, debugging, and communication, such as the ICSP programming debugging port for PICKET or ICD, the onboard debugger programmer through a USB port, and an I2C USB bridge. A lot of test points are also populated, which makes the board very convenient for bench testing. The CIP Hybrid Power Starter Kit features the PIC 16F1779 CIP Hybrid Power Microcontroller, which is loaded with analog and digital peripherals that are dedicated for power supply applications. With those peripherals taking the heavy load such as complementary PWM output and slope compensation, the core of the MCU is just doing system monitoring and communication. One hybrid power MCU can generate four sets of power supply output. The procedure of bench testing the board in your lab is nice and easy. You will need to have a DC power supply and a load to get started. When you connect the board to your PC through USB, the board will be recognized as a removable storage drive on the PC. You can get detailed information of the board and the example code by clicking the kit info in the storage drive, which brings you to the CIP Hybrid Power Starter Kit homepage. To program the board, simply drag and drop the hex file of your project into the storage drive. To test the board, firstly, Connect the four input and output cables to your power supply and your load. Then connect your oscilloscope with test points on the board so that you can monitor the signals such as the input, output, and PWM signals. After that, when you power up the DC power supply, you should be able to monitor your signal through the oscilloscope. Development tools make it easy to initialize and modify the firmware for the board. The MPLAB code configurator in MPLAB X provides a switch mode power supply library for you to tune the parameters for your customized power supply and generates the code with one click. For more information about the CIP Hybrid Power Starter Kit, please visit the link on your screen.